okay guys so we're gonna do a little get ready with me and catch up because i feel like i haven't i mean it's not i feel like i haven't made a video in months so we're just gonna do a little chit chat get ready with me i have a little drinkity here and i apologize about my voice because i am a little bit sick let's just catch up because i've missed youtube also sorry about my background i'm in my room right now i'm in the process of like moving a bunch of shit around so um she's a little chaotic at the moment we're just gonna get ready together so anyways i'm using this like spray it's a dupe for the tower 28 spray the last time i posted a video honestly i think was at the end of last summer um, I'm also a little sick right now, if you can see how red my nose is, so we're doing very light makeup today because otherwise it's just gonna come right off when I blow my nose in the next 20 minutes. So what's been happening recently, um, let's see, graduated college, slay, um, and I'm in the middle of a gap year right now. I'm doing a gap year, not necessarily to, like, travel or anything, more so to just, like, work and save up money because when I tell you college literally drained my savings it was so bad i literally worked while i was in college but it still wasn't enough being in a sorority having my own apartment paying rent buying groceries like guys i swear that shit took years off my life like the amount of stress that i was i literally like thought i had insomnia because i could not fall asleep at night because i was literally so stressed out about everything that was happening you can imagine how relief how relieved I was when I graduated because I was finally done with like college life and like living and I don't know I could do a whole video about my college experience because although I'm grateful for the experience that I had I feel like it definitely wasn't all that college is hyped up to be at least for me people are always like oh high school is the best four years of your life blah, blah blah like same thing with college and I could not disagree more I just think we need to stop pushing this narrative that like high school and college are like the best four years because like they're not or the best eight years whatever also, I'm not going to get ready with me and not saying any of the products that I'm using. Um, okay. So, I use the Glossier Future Dew as, like, a primer. And this is burning my nose. Oh, my gosh. So bad. And then I just went in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with the Niacinamide. Absolutely love this stuff. I have a little cold right now because in Maryland, it we just had, like, a big kind of... Well, not even a big snowstorm. It, snow, it snowed, like, maybe, like, two inches. But, you know groundbreaking for marylanders because we haven't had snow in literally so long so we get every season in like one day but still when we get snow we like freak out also if i look a little bit different i did self tan i have entered my self tan era i've started self tanning because i'm just tired of being really pale winter. it's just bad as you guys know i'm mixed i'm half black half white and when it hits about november december and that melanin this the little melanin that i have starts going away Things really take a turn. I just feel like when I'm tan, I look so much better. I feel like I look, like, healthier. I feel like I look skinnier. Like, I don't know what it is about being tan, but, um, I've always had friends growing up, like, especially, like, my white friends who've always, like, tanned and stuff in high school, and I never really got the hype, but now that I'm older, I'm like, wait, I understand it now. I basically am trying to say that I've started self-tanning, and it actually has made me feel a lot better about myself, especially in the winter. So if you're one of those, like, seasonal depressed girlies, Maybe try doing a little self-tan. That might really help you out a lot. I'm also really obsessed with this brow stuff right now. It's the NYX, the brow glue. People have been talking about this for literally years, and I just got it. It's actually so good. I feel like it gives my brows a very, hello, a very laminated look. I think for face, I'm going to do a little bit of the Glotion moisturizer. I don't know. Not to be one of the TikTok girls, but I think I'm going to do that. Also, I have a mirror right here that I'm looking into, and I'm really trying hard not to look into the viewfinder, but I can't make any promises. Kind of out of my YouTube era, but I really want to get back into YouTube for my the rest of my gap year and also when I do start grad school. So if you guys didn't know, I guess I did graduate college this spring. I was a psychology major and my career goal is to become a clinical mental health therapist. So I want to do like telehealth work. I want to work with like adolescents, young adults and be their therapist. That's my career goal. Um, but before, instead of like applying to grad school programs, my senior year of college, I was literally so overwhelmed with everything that was going on that I never applied to any of them on time and basically just decided to take a gap year which if you know I mean that's kind of crazy because I'm always somebody who's like super like like with my career and my future like with college and stuff like that I'm always like three steps ahead I've always had like five-year plans like that for school but 
I don't know when I was at UMD that shit took the life out of me like I just was like I need a year after this to just get my money up fix my like mental health take a break from school and then that way when I'm in grad school I can really like lock in on it so I'm applying to one school right now for this fall and if I don't get into that school then next January I'm gonna be applying for two other schools that are out of state so there's really not many schools in Maryland that I like that I want to do their programs basically I want to do a clinical mental health counseling program um, it's a master's degree it's like a two to three year degree and there's only one school in Maryland that I really want to do um, the other ones just like either just don't really align with what I want to do or they're too far away or I'd have to like move or something like that and like my thing is if I'm gonna have to move away for grad school it may as well be somewhere out of state like it may as well not be somewhere in Maryland because if I have to pay rent to live in the same state I'm from anyways like no I'm not doing that again I'm hopefully gonna get into the school I'm applying to right now if I get into that school it'll start the program will start this fall but if I don't get in then I'm gonna apply to um these programs that if I get into these ones, they start in the summer. So I didn't want to apply to those right now because I'm not ready financially to move in like a few months, you know, with these summer programs, summer starting programs. Um, so that's why I'm like, if I don't get into the one that starts this fall, then I'll wait and then do one of the ones that start next summer next year. So yeah, it's my little plan with grad school, but I, I don't know, half of me is like, I really don't want to go back to school, but then the other half of me is like, girl, you got to use your degree, you got it, like. Because I feel like you don't have to go to college if you don't want to. Like, you can totally be successful and not go to college. But since I made the choice to go to college, I have to be successful now. Like, I wanted to get my bachelor's and I got it in a degree that can very commonly go unused. And, like, since I'm passionate about becoming a therapist and, like, helping people, like, I really need to ride that out. So, I just have a certain standard for myself and I just want to make sure that I'm, you know, doing all the things that I told myself I would. As you can see, I'm not really putting much concealer on my nose because it's it's just going to be red anyways. But I did put some, like, underneath my nose just to kind of, like, mask it a little bit. And also, Kaylee got me this headband for Christmas, and it's so cute. Me and her, we're going to go to TJ Maxx, probably Ulta, you know, the whole nine yards, the whole works. I'm really excited. So I'm actually going to go in with this e.l.f. concealer and just do a little bit of a lighter shade. Just underneath my eyes, just like a little dab. Um, just to brighten her up a little bit. So I just want to add a little bit more there. Now I'm gonna go in with some powders. I've been loving the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder for my under eyes and like my T-zone. Um, especially with my tan on, I feel like it does a really good job of like brightening and setting. I haven't really been posting much on YouTube, but I have been posting quite a lot on TikTok. I mean, really not even that much. Like on TikTok to grow, you're supposed to be posting like multiple times a day and I just simply don't do that. This is the powder I'm using. But I feel like so many people just have like so many ideas and things to say all the time and I feel like I just don't. I don't know. Like not that I'm not good for it because I do have some hot takes every once in a while that I'll post and like they'll get pretty good like traction. But I just feel like I don't have much to say. I'm gonna do a light bronzing. I'm gonna use Laura Geller bronzer. I really like it, but just going in super light because again, I'm just having a little chill girls day. I'm not like, you know, on the runway or anything. I love TikTok though, but it is a little hard sometimes. But I'm more on like lifestyle, like 20s girls, like post-grad TikTok. So it can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes just seeing all the different things that everybody else is doing. I am like really prone to compare myself to other people. So sometimes I really have to take like a step back and just like understand that I don't have to be living like everybody else is and like I have my own journey I have my own path now I'm using the rare beauty blush in hope which I got this for my birthday I'm like the last person on earth to ever get anything from rare beauty but I don't care I've never been much of a blush girl because I always would argue like well I'm like well my cheeks are naturally red like why would I cover that up with concealer and foundation and then just put my blush on but I do like the Whitney Simmons method where she like puts it um <clears throat> in the same place that she would do contour, and I feel like that looks really good on my face. I love blush now, I'm very much in my blush era. I'm using the Juvia's Place blush. Shout out to Caroline, she got this for me for my birthday. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel like TikTok might not be the platform for me. I'm gonna go back in with a little more brow gel. I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution palette and then like this shade right here as an inner corner highlight. This is like my staple go to especially when I'm sick I just really want to my makeup to look like bright and awake and yeah this is gonna do it for me not so much sleep but I'm so well rested speaking of well rested I actually am very well, rest well rested because I work at a bagel place which honestly is really fun I work with a lot of people my age and it's really fun to be around like a bunch of people my age again like especially since graduating college like I'm definitely back home with like my siblings and like my parents so I'm not around like a million people who are the same age as me anymore which 
it's nice, but also kind of like, mm, it kind of sucks sometimes. God pays me really well, which is why I'm there. Um, and like one of my best friends from high school works there, so it's great to be able to work with her and like see her all the time. But my other job is babysitting, and I've babysat for that family literally since like my senior year of high school. I love those kids so much. And it's like really like, I'm the oldest daughter, so for me, a job like nannying or babysitting is like not even a job because I've been doing that my whole life. So it's really easy for me really convenient and it's also really good for like my career goals my future goals because i'm working with kids i'm working with kids you know during different developmental stages it is really nice and it's something that i can talk about in my grad school interviews so it's really convenient i like it and also i do love the kids like they're like my own kids it's like not even a job to me because i'm just so comfortable and like used to it i don't know when i'm in grad school i really want to be able to like lock in on school and not to worry about anything else so i want to have everything set up to where my bills are being paid even if i don't have to work that much like I just want everything to be set in place for when I'm in grad school I can really grind and learn and just become the best therapist, mental health advocate, person that I can be. That's kind of the whole reason for my gap year. I don't know if I ever finished that earlier but it's really like financially because I mean I like financially and like mental health. Like I want to be able to just take a break for a year, be able to scroll on TikTok all day if I want to, work my two jobs, like get my money up, pay off my credit cards, like all that stuff so that way when I'm in grad school I can just focus on school. and. Even maybe content creation. I don't know. I, I still, like, my passion for YouTube still hasn't died. It's just, like, not practical sometimes when I'm working two jobs and, like, all I'm doing is literally waking up, going to work, and going to sleep. Like, it's not as fun to film, but I do really enjoy, like, making content. So I want to get back into that this year. And not find my eyelash curler, but this is what I use for mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Primer. And then this is the Maybelline Surreal Falsies. I don't even know how long this video is. I need to like stop talking because it's probably like really long. I also use this Ulta lip oil. This stuff is so good and nobody talks about it and it's also $8. I was watching so many vlogs yesterday and I was like, bro, like I miss vlogging so much. And like, I don't know. I just need to get out of my own head about it because I always think, oh, well, like nobody's going to want to watch the stuff that I make, like blah, blah, blah. But like, I will literally watch people just sit there and talk for like 30 minutes. And I'm like, I know people would do that to me. So I just need to start posting again. But yeah, I'm ready. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go do my hair and get dressed and stuff. But if you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any questions for me, like where I've been, more update kind of questions, comment down below. If you have any videos you want to see, let me know too. I don't know. I'm just like feeling really creative right now. So definitely let me know and make sure you follow me on instagram and tiktok because i feel like i'm definitely more active on tiktok i don't really post though i'm more so like repost stuff but yeah and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and again thank you for watching and i hope you have a great start to your new year i definitely need to start doing my vision board and like all that kind of stuff so i'll probably vlog that i guess i don't know but yeah see you later